Hello everyone, uh, welcome to today's chemistry class. So, today we will start the first chapter, some basic concepts of chemistry. Due to this COVID-19, uh, CBSE has deleted some uh, portions from this chapter. So, we will discuss the remaining portions only. So, the first portions already deleted from our syllabus. So, from the learning academic mass, we will discuss. Before coming to this topic, atomic mass, you should know what is an atom. Okay, atom, the word atom was first coined by or used by our famous scientist John Dalton and in his atomic theory, he has given uh, many ideas about atom. So, take a look at that. What is an what is atomic mass? So, atom is an indivisible particle, and atom is the basic particle of all the matter. That means all the matter is made up of extremely small particle called atom. The word atom means indivisible, atomio, indivisible particle. Indivisible, it cannot be divided. Okay, so atomic mass. So atomic mass, actually, we have seen that or we have studied that. Atom is very small. So the mass of an atom is also very, very, very small quantity. And it is very difficult to use for the calculation. So we have coined a concept or a topic named as atomic mass or it is also known as a relative atomic mass, a relative atomic mass or it is also known as RAM, okay, RAM, a relative atomic mass, RAM, clear? So, what is atomic mass? Atomic mass is just uh, calculated on a standard scale on comparing with it is compared with carbon 12 atom so atomic mass is the mass of an atom which is how many times heavier than 1 by 12th mass of carbon 12 atom so atomic mass is mass of an atom which is uh, how many times heavier than 1 by 12th mass of carbon 12 atom or in in mathematically we can represent like this atomic mass is equal to mass of an atom mass of an atom divided by 1 by 12th mass of carbon 12 atom 1 by 12th mass of carbon 12 atom that is atomic mass okay so atomic mass is the mass of an atom which is how many times heavier than 1 by 12th mass of carbon 12 atom and this carbon 12 is an isotope carbon 12 is an isotope by comparing the mass of an atom with the carbon 12 atom we uh, discuss this concept atomic mass or we have uh, we are using the answer atomic mass. So this 1 by 12th mass of carbon 12 atom is known as 1 amu. Okay. It is related to carbon 12 atom. So it is known as a relative atomic mass. So 1 atomic mass unit. Atomic mass unit or 1 u. That is equal to a mass of carbon atom divided by 12 or 1 by 12th mass of carbon atom. Actually, mass of carbon atom is equal to 1.9924 into 10 power minus 23 gram divided by 12. This is 1 atomic mass unit or 1, 1 amu. It is also known as 1 amu 
or one unit. It is also known as unified atomic mass. Unified atomic mass. Unified atomic mass. Okay. So 1.9924 into 10 power minus 23 divided by 12 gram. That is equal to 1.66 into 10 power minus 24 gram. 1.66 into 10 power minus 24 gram. This is the value of 1 AMU. So 1 atomic mass unit is equal to 1.66 into 1 into uh, 10 raised to minus 24 gram. So, so we compare the mass of an atom with atomic mass unit. That is this value. So actually 1 AMU is equal to uh, 1 by 12th mass of carbon 12 atom. 1 AMU is 1 by 12 mass of carbon 12. So 1 AMU is 1 by 12th mass of carbon 12 atom. I think it's clear for you. Clear. Okay. And it is related to carbon 12 watt atomic mass. So it is known as relative atomic mass. Uh, relative atomic mass. And here we are going to see the atomic masses of some atoms and some compounds. Atomic mass of hydrogen is hydrogen is 1.008U. U is the unit of atomic mass. That is unified atomic mass or AMU. Unified atomic mass. So here 1.008U means the mass of carbon atom is 1.008 times heavier than or times heavier than carbon 1 by 12th mass of carbon 12 atom. So atomic mass is just a number. So atomic mass is just a number. It is a number or atomic mass. Simply we say atomic mass of hydrogen is equal to 1. Atomic mass of hydrogen is 1. Which means it is just a number. I think it's clear because this 1 means it is 1 time heavier than 1 by 12 mass of carbon 12 at. Okay. And similarly mass of oxygen is 15.995U. Uh, 995U. Actually atomic mass of oxygen is atomic mass of oxygen is 15.995U. Or we say 16. Approximately it is 16. It means the mass of oxygen atom is 16 times heavier than 1 by 12th mass of carbon 12 atom. Mass of hydrogen atom is 16 times heavier than 1 by 12th mass of carbon 12 atom. Clear? So, this is just a number. 16 times heavier. That is number. So, atomic mass is just a number which is how many times heavier than? Okay. Or mass of an atom. That is a number. Okay. Atomic mass is just a number. So, it is a mass of an atom which is how many times heavier than? 1 by 12th mass of carbon 12 atom. Or simply we can write like this. Mass of an atom divided by 1 by 12th mass of carbon 12 atom. Okay. And we have another concept. Average atomic mass. Average atomic mass. What is average atomic mass? The average atomic mass of an element depends upon the isotopic composition or isotopes. So average atomic mass. In the case of chlorine, chlorine is having two isotopes. Chlorine 17, 35 and chlorine 17, 37. Okay, isotopes are the uh, elements. Okay, elements, same elements are same atomic number but different mass number. Isotopes are, are uh, atomic 
here atomic number same mass number is different atoms of the same elements having same atomic number but different mass number these elements are known as isotopes here mass number different atomic number same this carbon sorry this chlorine 1735 and chlorine 1737 these are the two isotopic forms of chlorine clear and these two are um, appear in the ratio okay these two are oh, this chlorine occurs in two forms in the ratio 3 is to 1 chlorine 35 3 And chlorine thirty seven one. If you take four chlorine atoms, three would be thirty uh, five, and one is thirty seven. Okay, out of four, three is thirty five. Chlorine thirty five, one is chlorine thirty seven. So by using this, we can find out the atomic mass of chlorine. Okay, so chlorine thirty five. So we can find out like this: thirty five into three plus thirty seven into one. Divided by three plus one, that is equal to approximately equal to thirty five point five u. Okay. So here we have seen that average atomic mass. Why we take average atomic mass? Because atoms exist in isotropic forms. In example, uh, in here we have chlorine thirty five and chlorine thirty seven exist in three is to one ratio. By using that, we can find out atomic mass 35.5 u. Clear? Here three angle on the other because of this three uh, is to one ratio. 35 chlorine 35 is in three three number. So 35 into three and chlorine 37 is only in one number. So 37 into one divided by total three plus one four. Therefore 35.5 u. And from this we can see that. This is a fractional value. Why atomic mass is in fraction? Because because atomic mass is in fraction because we calculate the average atomic mass of isotopic forms. That is why uh, it is in fraction. Why atomic mass in fraction? Because because we find out. The average atomic mass of isotopic forms. That is why atomic mass is in fractional value. Clear? That is all about atomic mass. Now we are moving on to the molecular mass. Molecular mass. Molecular mass is also same. Okay, there is no other difference. Okay. So it is also a very important concept. Both the concepts are very important. Atomic mass and Uh, molecular mass, atomic mass and molecular mass. Okay. So here we have molecular mass. Molecular mass is the mass of a molecule which is how many times heavier than one by twelfth mass of carbon twelve atoms. So equal to mass of molecule divided by One by twelfth mass of carbon twelve atom. So it is a mass of molecule which is how many times heavier than one by twelfth mass of carbon twelve atom. One by twelfth mass of carbon twelve atom. And here we can see that this mass molecular mass is also calculated by adding the atomic masses of all the atoms in a molecule. Atomic masses of all the atoms in a molecule. Example. So sum of the atomic masses of all the atoms in a molecule is also known as molecular mass. Sum of the atomic masses of all the atoms in a molecule by adding the atomic mass of all the molecule. We can take one example. Water. How can we find out the molecular mass of water? So here we have two. Hydrogen atom. So two into what is atomic mass of hydrogen? Actually, water is water is H two, and there is there are two hydrogen atoms. So you have to multiply the atomic mass of hydrogen by two. Therefore, two into atomic mass of hydrogen is one. We have already studied. Plus 
at a minimum of 4 sin also we have seen just before 16 so 2 plus 16 that is 18 u this is the molecular mass of water so molecular mass of one mole of water is 18 u and also you can find out the molecular mass of carbon dioxide molecular mass of carbon dioxide here 1 into 16 because only one oxygen atom 1 into 16 because only one oxygen atom and here we have only one carbon therefore 1 into what is atomic mass of carbon 12 and we have two oxygen atom therefore 2 into what is the oxygen uh, atomic mass of oxygen it is 16 2 into 16 so 12 plus 32 you will get 44 so atomic mass of uh, uh, carbon dioxide is 44 u so it is sum of the atomic masses of hydrogen and oxygen in the case of water and it is sum of the atomic mass of carbon and oxygen in the case of carbon dioxide so molecular mass is sum of the atomic masses ok so the uh, next concept is gram atomic mass and gram molecular mass here it is 44 and 80 when you express gram atomic mass gram atomic mass when you express atomic mass in gram it is gram atomic mass when you uh, express molecular mass in gram it is gram molecular mass so gram atomic mass is when you express atomic mass in gram gram atomic mass when you express molecular mass in gram it is gram molecular mass in the case of water molecular mass 18 gram in the case of carbon dioxide molecular mass 14 for gram okay that is all about today's session. Thank you.